Hi, my name is Georgina and I basically wanted to give a demonstration of how you can transfer videos, images and most importantly phone contacts from an um, Android platform such as this one and an iPhone 4S. Um, I basically got the 4S today and um, went into Vodafone, they have this um, technique they use is called celebrate or on the adverts it's called um red box and it basically allows you to do the same thing in store for vodafone customers but for some reason my samsung this little fella here um decided no i'm not gonna work so i had to come home scratch my head a bit um the sales advisor um said try using itunes try using i um icloud um but yeah st still didn't get anything again uh my samsung phone i mean it's updated but it, it wouldn't connect to the computer for a while so um i mean I, once i eventually got it connected um i was able to um copy and paste the contacts in the this so i have a list of my contacts and I have iCloud. Um, I mean, I, I try several techniques like dragging it across, and this error message kept coming up. Um, I tried to send it, and it's not there as an option. Um, I tried to change the formatting of it, um, but it did. I don't know whether it was the computer or just just me. Uh, I don't know. It was just not having any luck with it. So I decided, okay, let me try going on um, on the internet. Of course. Uh, so I thought, let me try YouTube. Let me try Google. See if anybody has come up with any answers. And I saw like different kinds of videos for different kinds of phones. Um, and the one that kind of um, caught my eye. Um, computer and the one that caught my eye was actually this video I don't know if you can see that it's called how to transfer contacts from android phone to iphone um so basically um it, it's basically telling you to download an app called um sync contact i don't know if you can see it there um but I was looking at the reviews and it doesn't seem to be like a great app um, and on, to add insult to injury you have to pay for it <laughs> so um, on Apple it's um, it costs £1.49 and on um, Android it costs £1.26 so um, I was reading the reviews and I actually came across something that I found interesting and it's, uh, it's a different app and it's called Bump yeah um, you can easily do it through Bump, and um, but I was reading through Bump and it seemed that oh, um, some people say you can only transfer one uh, contact at a time. Some, uh, yeah, like just up here if you can see it, it's coming up on the screen. Um, further up, sorry, let me just bring it down. Um, so I don't know if you can see it that clearly, but someone's put a comment, you can only do one contact at a time. Um, so when I first tried it, it did seem, yeah, you, you can only do it one at a time. But then, let's come back. Um, whilst I was doing it, I had this case on my iPhone. So I decided, okay, obviously let me take the case off. I mean, it's, it's probably got very minimal... Um, shock resistance, but obviously that has an effect. So once I took that off, um, bump actually started to work a bit better. So just so, just so you can see the phone's a bit better. So um, it's just, um, just a quick demo, basically. Um, so here we've got the Samsung Galaxy S, um, and um, I haven't tried it with any other. Android phones, but I'm assuming if you can get Bump on, um, if you could download Bump, um, it should be able to work. So, um, Bump is completely free on both iPhone and 
Android, which I think is a total bonus. Um, and then we just get the app on here as well. Okay, so basically, I don't know if you can see that. I have both of them up on there. So uh, basically, my phone book um, list is on here on my Samsung, and I want to transfer it to my iPhone. So um, what you could do. Um, at the top, I mean, you don't just have to transfer um, phone contacts. You have like various things at the list here. And you can see that. Um, you have my card, photos, um, and contacts, which is on main thing, and apps. Um, again, I haven't tried bumping any apps because um, again, it may not be kept compatible with iPhone but hey it doesn't hurt to try but my main goal here is to try to get my contacts so um you just multiply select um I think the max that I've tried so far is 11 so I'm going to try about 20 this time so that's and obviously it, it shows you a number at the top like how many you've selected um, unfortunately, um, it doesn't have a select all button, so you do have to select each one individually. Um, just going to select. Okay. Pretty sure there's some repeats in there. Okay, so again, I've just selected each one of them individually. Um, just going through my list because there's some duplicates on my phone. Okay, so I've basically selected 24 contacts. So you just basically get two phones, you make sure they're on. Oop. Okay, that one's already got excited. I'll just. A bit better. Um, for this application, it probably is better to do it through Wi-Fi, and um, for some reason it requires a GPS signal as well. Um, actually, I've just turned on the iPhone, so it may not work this time, but we'll just see. So you just do a bump in action, and it gives you connect. So on the Samsung it says it connect to the iPhone and on the iPhone it says connect to MC12260 and that's my um, Samsung phone so just click connect and then on the phone that it's being sent to it says someone sent 24 contacts which is me so I'm just going to click save and and that's it, and it should be on your phone. So what I found, um, instead of me um, constantly coming out, in and out of um, the iPhone, just to double check that the contacts are in there, I've got iCloud in my computer. You can see that there. And um, as you can see, the recently added contacts come up. I mean, it, sometimes it takes a few seconds to actually show up, but as long as you know it's on there, it will be on the iPhone and any other Apple devices you have, like iPad, uh, iPod, um, any other iPhones. So yeah, so I mean that's just basically it. Yeah, and you just, um, I mean, I'm gonna try to do it with all my contacts, but. Again, you can pick and choose which contacts. Actually, um, I'm just going to quickly see if I don't know if you can see that. Okay. I'm going to quickly see if I can. Let's see if we can bump an app. Um, okay, so, uh, do I have Angry Birds on here? Yeah, 
Okay, see, Angry Birds on the iPhone you have to pay for. Um, but let me see if I can bump the app to the iPhone. Because I actually haven't tried this, so um, this is going to be new to me too. Um, okay, let's just try. I don't know if it's going to work, but... Sorry, I'm going to get a better view. No, I don't think it worked. No, it doesn't look, it doesn't seem to have worked. Yeah, I'm not surprised. But I thought, hey, uh, give it a go. But um, I mean, you can um, you can have a fiddle about with it. Um, see what you can bump. See what applications it does accept. Photos, images. But I just really just wanted to show the um contacts yeah so you basically build up your contact list so, um what i've got here you basically build up your contact list and uh yeah you're off off and away um if if you can't find another technique that was just an alternative okay i'm um, sorry that the video is a bit long first time i've done a video and i just wanted to share what i found um all right good luck bye